Hey, what's going on guys? Jolt here, back with another video, and today we're going to be going over Zane's fourth skill tree. And guys, this skill tree is critical hit damage and stacking related. Basically, if you're hitting critical hits, you're going to get bonus damage and also be rewarded for it. On top of that, we also have the new action skill, Mantis Cannon. Yeah, this thing is a lot of fun and probably one of my favorite Zane builds now. Not only in terms of fun, but also in terms of raw damage. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the skill tree. Alright, here's the purple skill tree, it's called the Professional, and starting off we have the Mantis Shoulder Cannon. This will be your basic action skill. So, Zane equips a shoulder mounted cannon. Pressing action skill causes Zane to fire his cannons at his crosshairs, and consume one charge. Max charges, 3, cooldown at 12 seconds, and damage just over 12k. So we're gonna press action skill, and you can see we're gonna shoot a shot, and guys, this thing can crit too. That is a big deal, and I'll explain why later in the skill tree. For the first skill, we have Mana Focus. Activating an action skill grants Zane increased accuracy and handling for a short time. This affects stacks. When you max it out, accuracy 29%, handling 28.6%, duration 12 seconds, and max stacks 10. So you can see the crosshairs on the Hellwalker, and when I activate my action skill, it will get smaller and smaller. At 10 stacks, it's literally pinpoint accurate. Now we have Renegade. After scoring a critical hit, Zane regenerates health for a short time. When you max it out, health regeneration up to 1.5% of max health per second. Duration, 12 seconds. You can see I have 1 HP, so we're going to go ahead and hit a crit. And now we regen HP for 12 seconds. Deja Vu. Whenever Zane kills an enemy with a critical hit, there's a chance for 1 ammo to be added to his magazine. When you max it out, chance to add ammo, 45%. Now, it's not going to be guaranteed, but you can see we have 5 shots. Let's go to 4. Freeze this guy. Go for the kill. And now we're back to 5. Headsman's Hand. It is a kill skill. Zane gains increased critical hit damage. This affects stacks twice. When you max it out, critical hit damage 20% and duration 8 seconds. To simulate getting kills, I did spec into seeing red, so when I activate it, we're going to activate kill skills. So you can see here, we're going to hit for 11k. Activate that. And maxing it out at 2 stacks will be 16k. Tunnel Vision. While moving, Zane gains increased accuracy and handling. The quicker Zane moves, the greater the bonus. When you max it out, accuracy up to 30% of default walk speed, and handling up to 33% of default walk speed. You can see my crosshairs, so when I walk, it will get smaller, and if I run, even smaller. And of course, if I slide, even smaller. Commitment. It is a kill skill. Chain gains increased gun damage and action skill cooldown rate. When you max it out, gun damage 20%, and cooldown rate 20%. This skill is probably one of the most insane insane skill tree, because for whatever reason, it stacks. It doesn't stay on the card, but it does stack. So look for this icon on the bottom bar, activate it, and again, and again, and yeah, so we're stacking gun damage and cooldown. Remember, 20% per stack, so you can easily get 20 stacks during mobbing. With 20 stacks of this, you're going to have 400% bonus gun damage and 400% action skill cooldown. Yeah, so you're going to have insane damage and instant cooldown on your action skills, which means you can shoot the Mantis Cannon infinitely. It's kind of insane. Fugitive. Zane can sprint and shoot at the same time. Um, it's basically Moses' Russian offensive skill on Sane, except you don't get any sort of healing or regeneration. With a lot of movement-based skills, this skill is actually pretty handy, so you can see we can run around and shoot at the same time. Like, shooting will not break your sprint. Next up, Domino Effect. Whenever Zane scores a critical hit, he gains increased fire rate and reload speed for a short time. If he scores a critical hit with his action skill, he doubles this effect. When you max it out, reload speed at 20%, fire rate 15%, and duration 8 seconds. So if you hit a crit with the Mantis Cannon, you're going to get 40% reload speed and 30% fire rate. The Maggie's reload speed is 1.9 seconds. We're going to hit a crit. Now it's a little bit faster. Hit a crit with your Mantis Cannon. Yeah, even faster. It does increase your fire rate too. The Art of War. After activating an action skill or action skill ability, Zane's next shot fired from his weapon deals increased damage. This affects stacks. When you max it out, gun damage 15% and max stacks 10 so our base damage is 6,900. Activate the action skill, just over 8,000. Remember, we can stack this 10 times too. That means we can get up to 150% bonus weapon damage. All right, one more stack, there we go. Take the shot, 17,000. Do keep in mind when you take the shot, your stacks reset. Sheer Will. Zane gains increased action skill cooldown rate. Scoring a critical hit increases this effect. This effect stacks. When you max it out, cooldown rate 15%. Cooldown rate 7.5% after critical hit, duration 8 seconds, and max stacks 15. In the bottom right corner, you can see we have 3 charges. We're going to use 1, so 4, 3, 2, 1, 
Yeah, cooldown's a little bit slow. Now I'm gonna hit crit. Stack it up. Do it again. And yeah, you can see the cooldown is a lot faster now. Pretty awesome. Eraser. Zane's critical hits pierce to enemies for all weapons, dealing increased damage for every enemy pierced. When you max it out, pierced shot damage 120% per enemy pierced. Yeah, that's right. Zane has boar. That is pretty awesome. You can see when I shoot a non-crit, the bullet does not pass through, but when I hit a crit, the bullet will pass through. Here's a better visual indicator to show it works. Also, I did test the pierce damage and it does work. For the capstone, our man Flint. While aiming down sights, Zane's weapons deal bonus damage and automatically apply their status effects when scoring a critical hit. It is a one point skill, so bonus damage, 25% of damage dealt. Our hip fire damage is gonna be 13K. We're gonna aim down sight, 17K. The bonus damage applies and also because the weapon is cryo, it would automatically apply a cryo status effect to the enemy. For the augments, we have cold shoulder, Convert Zane's Mantis Shoulder Cannon damage to Cryo damage, but deals reduced damage. Additionally, Zane gains increased Cryo Freeze Rate, Cannon damage minus 10%, and Freeze Rate plus 20%. I should have mentioned that before, but by default, the Mantis does Shock, as you can see. And now we're going to apply the Cryo, and we do Cryo. Now, the reason why you saw damage go up is because Shock on Flesh is not good. Jack is considered a Flesh enemy, so Cryo is going to do more overall to a Flesh target. But you will still get that minus 10% damage on the Cannon. Next up, wet work. Whenever Zane kills an enemy with his shoulder cannon, that enemy explodes into an elemental puddle. Explosion damage, just over 8k, and puddle damage, just over 4k per second. Kill that guy, and you can see he does turn into a fire puddle. Next up, no way out. Whenever Zane damages an enemy with his shoulder cannon, that enemy is pulled to him and takes increased damage for a short time. Additionally, Zane's mantis shoulder cannon cooldown time is increased. Cooldown at plus 20 seconds, damage increased 25%, and duration 6 seconds. In case you're wondering, that does mean you have longer cooldown. We can see an enemy way over there, let's pull them in. And now they take increased damage for a short time. I do want to say the range is limited, so for enemies really far away, they will not be pulled all the way up to you. Also, enemies can't get stuck on things on the floor. Brain Drain? Whenever Zane kills an enemy with a critical hit from his shoulder cannon, two charges are instantly returned. Alright, let's go for a critical hit kill. And you can see we jump up two charges. And finally, we have Proliferation. Zane's Mantis Shoulder Cannon gains additional charges and deals increased damage based on the number of charges remaining. Additional charges, plus two, and cannon damage, plus 20% per charge. Now you can see we have five charges, so the first shot's gonna do 25k, 23k, 23, 20, 17. As you can see, when your charges go down, you get less and less bonus damage. That's it for all the skills, so let's go over a few other things. The elemental puddle on Wetworks really doesn't do a whole lot, and I do think it needs a damage buff. The eraser skill is pretty cool, but it's not very often enemies are perfectly lined up for that bonus damage. Also, when you ricochet a Jacob's weapon, the ricochets do not get bonus damage from the skill. That's all I want to point out, so let's go ahead and show off some gameplay. Okay, so I did a lot of testing, and this is the build I came up with. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on all the kill skills and also using Sing Red. With this, we can activate all of our kill skills and stack up that bonus crit damage by quite a bit. So let's go ahead and push forward, get terrified, and we're going to throw down the barrier because we are going to be a little bit squishy. Go for the crit, and yeah, because enemies are going to be frozen using the frozen snowshoe or frozen heart, we can easily hit those crits for the massive damage. 91 million, not bad. Also, I do want to point out that your crit damage from your gun also applies to your mantis cannon. So if you're going to be holding the unforgiven, you're going to get crazy damage. Now the unforgiven is part of the build too, we can hit crits and hit crazy damage. So we one-shot that guy. Let's find a heavy. There we go. One-shot you. This guy. Boop. You're dead. All right. So you can see the mobbing is pretty straightforward and not too difficult. So let's go ahead and take on the boss. Tron does resist cryo. So we're going to do a shock. So take that off. Or take off the augment over here. There we go. And let's get our shield up. Beautiful. Aim for the crit. Oop. Bad shot. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, if you build around Mantis damage, you can do some pretty crazy stuff. For this build, all of your damage is going to be based on crits. So if you're not hitting crits, you're not going to be hitting a whole lot. Now for Grave Ward, let's go ahead and put this down. And pick it up. Get a little bit spooky. Let's wait for the stage to stop moving. Alright, take the shots. And he is dead. Three shot kill. Wow. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for the video. So let me know below in the comments what you guys think about the new skill tree. For me, it might be my new favorite skill tree because it is a lot of fun. I've always been a fan of crit-based builds, and now we finally have that. 
And yeah, I think that's gonna be it. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.